Hi Toasty fans, today we're going to make some pizza toast. This is an absolutely gorgeous and delicious lunch that I had the other day and uses up some leftovers in the fridge as well. It's a bit of an enhanced version of cheese on toast but it's well worth the extra effort. You start off with your base pizza sauce and for this I went for a barbecue flavoured one using some simple barbecue sauce, tomato puree, garlic and pepper. All you want to do is grab all those ingredients in a bowl and start mixing them all together. You can actually make whatever base, base sauce you like. You can have a tomato puree pizza sauce, a garlic butter pizza sauce, obviously as long as you've got no meetings in the afternoon. But I went for a barbecue one, I like that. And the barbecue just gives it a little bit of moisture as well. I'm mixing it all up there. And by all means, taste as you go so you get the right one. And we go through the rest of the ingredients that I found in the fridge. I've got some sweet corn, frankfurters, some pepperoni, and of course lots and lots of lovely cheese. And there's two slices of thick cut bread. And start off just like cheese on toast, start grilling your bread, turning it from bread to toast. And while I'm doing that, I'll chop up those frankfurters. Just chopping them into bite-sized chunks. Now I've got my toast out from under the grill, flip it over, and we start to build our pizza toast. Obviously we start with our sauce, just lay that on nice and thick. So if you look, I've made it, it's not too thick, not too runny. You don't want it sliding off the edge, but you do want it to stick there and give a nice kind of blast of flavor as you bite into your pizza toast. So just spread it around the bread, making sure all of it's covered. If you can, go right up to the edges. I like to do that. So you kind of, oh, every bit of bread's got a bit of flavor to it and then start adding the other ingredients. So I went in with the sweet corn next. And with the frankfurters, just dropping those bits on there. Now you can add your ingredients in any order you like. And as I said before, you can use any ingredients you like. It's a pizza, you can throw on what you like. I even read about a banana and curry pizza on the web today. If you want that link, head over to our webpage, toastyrecipes.com, and you'll find it there. Now I'm laying on the cheese. Obviously I've done it nice and thick as always. Gotta have a good wedge of cheese on your pizza. And again, I've used some cheddar, but some gouda or some mozzarella, both are very good. You can even give it a sprinkling of Parmesan as well, just for a bit of extra kick. Lots of options with this pizza toast. And now we're laying on the pepperoni. Put the pepperoni on top. That's always what you find this done with the pizza. That's so it can get nice and crispy and the oil will drip through as well. And that oil and the oil from the cheese will drip right through into the bread and give it that lovely crispy sort of base that you want. Now there I've got my pizza toast ready to go back under the grill. Just pop it under the grill till the cheese is melted and the pepperoni are nice and crispy. Pull them out to check. Look at that bubbling cheese, crisp pepperoni. Absolutely delicious. There you have it. Put it on a plate and you've got delicious pizza toast. It's a fantastic lunch. Keep you going till dinner time. You've got all those flavours in there. It could be worth adding some mixed herbs as well into that. Either that tomato sauce or sprinkled on top. Maybe drizzle or balsamic. But once you've made it, you'll love it, and it becomes a really easy lunch option. So have you ever made pizza toast? Let us know in the comments section. And what's your, also your favourite pizza topping? 
let me see then I may be able to go and apply that to some pizza toast in the future thanks guys and be sure to subscribe to the channel bye